SpaceX launched its ninth unmanned test flight of its Starship spacecraft from South Texas last night, but once again, things didn't go as planned. Watch. So that looked pretty good, but despite some progress, SpaceX said it lost contact with the rocket as it spun out of control and exploded over the Indian Ocean. Its last two launches also ended with similar explosions. CBS News correspondent Jason Allen joins us now from Dallas with more on this. Jason, good morning to you. Lots can be learned from every single launch, but this wasn't the plan. What exactly happened? No, it wasn't. And you're right, Errol. A lot can be learned from this. And good morning. In fact, Elon Musk uh, posted after the launch that he saw this as a big improvement over the last couple of flights. But clearly from the video that you just showed, not exactly what SpaceX was hoping would happen. So a successful launch to start and a big success in that they were able for the first time to reuse one of those super heavy boosters. This was the same booster that powered the, the, uh, the craft up into the air back in January. So that's key to SpaceX's future plans. But then as that booster came down, it didn't make a hard splash down out in the Gulf as was intended. It exploded before that happened. And then as the spacecraft continued on its flight, as you mentioned, uh, they started to lose control and it started to spin ever so slightly. Engineers at least initially believe that there was a propellant leak that kept them from being able to control the ship's attitude. They couldn't control which way it would move to the left or the right or to roll. And when that happens, they couldn't orient it in the right way so that the heat shields controlled that reentry. So once that happened, everything got too hot. And as they expected, that spacecraft just came apart over the Indian Ocean. Yeah, and that footage is just wild to watch. Uh, in the last few seconds, just remind us about the Starship rocket's mission. Right, Errol, and everybody focuses on Mars. Elon wears his Occupy Mars T-shirts. That's his big thing. In fact, he told CBS Sunday Morning's David Pogue before the flight yesterday, he still sees a 50% chance of launching flights, maybe unmanned flights to Mars, by sometime late next year. However, this ship is also key to NASA's plans to take astronauts to the moon. They have a mission that's been pushed back to 2027. SpaceX has billions of dollars in contract from NASA to do that. So this is very, very key that they get it working, both on plans to get to the moon and to get to Mars. All right, Jason Allen with all the latest. Thanks very much joining us from Dallas.